what do you do when you forget something at an install, how to make your life easier as a home stager. In Foxy TV episode 132, we're covering seven home staging hacks. Welcome back to Foxy TV. The weather is warming up and the team are still super busy. We did 79 installs in September. I didn't get a chance to introduce our two newest team members, um, Elise and John. So look out for that in uh, hopefully next week's video. Last week, I put up a question on Instagram stories asking what we should cover uh, in this week's Foxy TV episode. We had some great suggestions, uh, but I did end up going with our very own Bianca's suggestion. She asked, for some tips and tricks around what you should do when you forget something at an install. So that is basically what we're doing in this week's episode with a bit of a twist as they're not all tips when you're at an install. We also cover some stuff um, in the planning phase of the install, um, like packing the truck and things like that. Okay, let's get into it. For hack number one, we're going to an install we did on Wednesday down towards the Gold Coast. So Caitlin, you've, you've gotten to an install and you've forgotten your steamer for the beds. You're kidding. <laughs> You're kidding. What do you got, so what can we do instead? Awesome, well, little trusty hack is a little spray bottle and you just spray not a lot all over the bed, like so. <laughs> Get us started. Just do a little coat. And especially on a hot day, it will literally just, you can smooth out all of the wrinkles instantly. So you just tuck in the sheet, make it all smooth. And because it is so hot, it will dry in 10 minutes or so, and you're good to go. For our second hack, we are heading to the warehouse to speak to Cam about using bed frames instead of bed bases. Their bed frames, yeah. uh, and they're a hack because for several reasons. One, obviously you can carry a, a full-size bed base with one person, which when you're doing particularly apartment jobs or townhouses is a big advantage because it means that you can speed the whole thing up. And probably the bigger reason is that uh, they are a huge space saver. Um, we've got three, effectively three double bed bases in about a square metre as opposed to having three full-size bed bases which would take up probably out to here from the side of the truck, so. And then when you're inside some homes upstairs and stuff? Yeah, so mainly townhouses, uh, they're typically, they've got hard corners and low ceilings on the, on the, on the staircases. Um, so it means you're not having to negotiate, you're not having to negotiate that when you're carrying up bed bases, you can literally just walk up the stairs as if you're carrying a much smaller piece of furniture, so. Okay, on to number three. We're speaking to Caitlin about how we organise and transport our linen. These are our IKEA dimper bags. Yep. Uh, they're pretty great because you can see into them, they zip up, they're pretty durable. Love that. And you basically sort, um, how do you sort them? Like, what do you put inside? Yeah, so when we're packing up a bed, we put the linen in one with the standards, euros in another, and then throws, cushions, sheets, everything in another. So it's easy to sort out afterwards. Perfect. And so you said they're from IKEA, and how much are they? $6.99, I believe. <laughs> for number four, we are back at the install on the Gold Coast, where Janessa is going to show us a tool that helps her hang artwork. All right, Janessa, if you're at an install by yourself um, and you need to hang some artwork, you found a handy dandy little tool, haven't you? TikTok has come through for yeah. us. Um, a lot of installs for us, because we do so many a day, we are working on our own. So any artwork that's similar to this one, and it's D-ring, also because at Foxy we hang our own art. So um, some stars higher, we hang our own, part of our little package. Um, it can be really tricky because you've got to, how are you going to measure it? Is it going to be straight? Is it going to line up? I found this thing called a hangomatic on TikTok and safe to say, saved our lives <laughs> multiple times. It's just a little tool that you just measure up with your D-rings and then it clips into place. So there you go, you're always gonna, always gonna line up. But then the best thing about it is it's got these two little prongs on each side. And then with its little spirit level, you can line it up so then you know it's gonna make a perfect little spot. And then you just make an indentation. 
in the wall, and then that's exactly where you put your screws. So. You know where to screw it in? You know where to screw it in, that way it's always gonna line up, it's always gonna be level, and you can do it on your own, which is awesome. The other way it's actually a really handy tool is when you have a pair of artwork. So again, when you buy yourself, these can be a bit tricky. They're both individually strong, so you want to make sure it lines up. They're the same level. We try to use as, um, little screws and um, permanent fixtures into clients' walls as possible. So the great thing with these is that you can kind of line it up roughly with the middle of each painting artwork figure out the distance in between you want to have. We like a small amount of distance in Foxy. And then, again, I'll probably have to get a chair. <laughs> we line them up, use that spirit level again, make a small indent in both sides. What happens when you bring a fitted sheet that is too small for the bed? Let's see what trick Caitlin can show us for number five. So this is a queen bed, yes. and pretend we've only got a, a double uh, fitted sheet here. What what could we do? We can, if you flip it the other way, yep. so it long ways this way, yep. the doona is going to cover this half, and we can tuck this in to make it all smooth, and you would have no idea. So people would have no idea this section is uncovered. Correct. Perfect. Our second last hack, number six, is an easy way to remove marks from walls. So okay, Kevin, sometimes it installs, um, there'll be little nicks on the walls or something cleaners have missed. Now, what, what do you have here? We have a magic sponge and I don't understand how they work. They, magic. they are magic. <laughs> it's, don't ask me how they work. So you but, just put a bit of water on them? Yeah, you just put a little bit of water on it, wring it out, and then you literally just go, just make sure that you're super delicate with it because it is actually a bit of a paint stripper. So you, don't damage the walls. Yeah, exactly. And to finish up with our seventh hack, which is not so much a, a hack, but more just good general advice, we're going back to the warehouse to speak to Jake about how we pack a truck um, so it's most efficient when we arrive at a job for an install. Well, I mean, it's, when we're loading the truck, it's about making sure that we're thinking about the other end and. Yeah, you, you turn up to a job and you've got two stylists on site and they're ready to go and they're waiting for you. You don't want to have all the big heavy stuff right at the back to come off first because then they're sitting around waiting as well. Whereas if we know that we've got a few things like some chairs or linen or trees or lamps or smaller things that they can be helping with right from the start, um, then nobody's kind of standing around waiting. So we, we, we kind of load the truck with that in mind to some degree. Um, obviously we have to make sure it gets on and fits and is on there safely. Um, but. Uh, it's yeah, trying to reduce downtime or people standing around waiting for other people. Um, and it's also things like uh, the, the frames for beds. When we're using a bed frame instead of a, a base, we usually put them on last as well. So when they come off at the start, the ladies can take them inside, get them set up so that by the time the mattresses are coming off, they're already ready for it. So it's just thinking about the order of things and how they're gonna come off. So there you go, seven tips or hacks to make your life easier as a home stager. Now, we left some out this, in this video, so if you would like to see a part two in the future, do let us know. And also let us know if you have any tips or hacks um, that help you when you're staging homes for sale. And you can do that in the comments section below. That is it for this episode of Foxy TV, episode 132. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you back here next week.